Look what we're doing. We are installing the cabinet doors. Woo woo. I think for like another week, I'm probably gonna go through and like nitpick. But we're getting them up because I have a foam brush, so if I need to fix anything, I can do that. But they're pretty good. Sorry if you guys, if the drill's loud, I gotta put all the hardware on here. Yeah, we're still not gonna be 100% done because we have to trim out the, we have to trim out the island and then add the corbels and then we can't put the base down until we refinish the floors. But we're gonna get cabinet doors up and hardware on today. It's happening. And all of my stuff, hey Dana, all my stuff is gonna go back in here off of my dining room floor. We're gonna bring in our old work table and cover it up so we can have somewhere to eat Christmas dinner at. And yeah, so we're doing good. It's 1.10 a.m. in Slovenia. LL, it is. You were up late. late. It's late. Late, late, late. Sorry if you guys hear the kids in the background. We, so, we can't keep them away much longer. They've been cooped up in the basement while we've been doing this. Yeah, we bought them. So yesterday I bought them a Nintendo Switch and they've been playing with that, but now they're starting to fight. So. As soon as we're done with this, we're gonna go to dinner and take the kids so they can buy presents for each other. And I'm gonna hit the grocery store. All okay. exciting things. All <laughs> exciting things. So we had a question, but I missed it. Thank you, I think they look good too. Um, so we did wind up spraying the sealer on the doors, but I brushed the sealer with my Wooster foam brush on all the bases. And then when I was doing touch up, I used my Wooster foam brush for the paint and for the poly. So I really think if you wanted to do this with minimal tools, you could probably get away with, instead of having a roller and spraying, if you were patient, you could do the entire thing with one Wooster brush for paint and one Wooster brush for um, poly because it, it worked pretty good when I touched it up. We are going to take 400 grit sandpaper and buff them all, but we'll do that later. It's no big deal. They're actually pretty smooth. I just want them to be really, really smooth. Um, we're putting these on. Since they're pretty fresh, it'll keep the paint from sticking at all, so keep them from slamming shut. They make them in clear. They're a little bit more expensive, but these ones are cheaper. If they don't last or I don't like them, I'll replace them. It helps keep them um, from when, when it stands, because these aren't soft clothes, it helps keep them from cracking right here. Yeah, it protects them. So you always want to put those back on there. Um, let's see. I am excited about the black hardware too. And the thing about, and this took us like four days. So we're, yeah, we're I'm, we're I'm complaining a lot, but we've stopped and started a lot to do Christmas stuff. So if we would have had no kids interrupting us and no Christmas stuff going on, we probably could have done it, got it done in like two days. Yeah. But we stretched it out to four, so it's I should. Winter, so we're uh, we're confined to the garage. Yeah, if it was summertime, we could have taken these outside and sprayed them in no time. It would have been done a lot faster. So winter time kind of slows things down. So really, now that I'm getting towards the end of it, it's not as bad as I. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be, but it's not as bad as I thought it was a day ago when I wanted to just. It's been a big project. I asked Seb if we could just go to a hotel, <laughs> <laughs> and just go to a hotel for the weekend. So what we're gonna do is call it stops on the remodel till after Christmas, and then we're gonna get back in it and we're gonna paint all the walls, which is gonna be a huge ordeal because we have vaulted ceilings. You wanna show them putting those foam ones on while I go? Oh yeah. Out so I'm gonna put that. Zeb's, Zeb's gonna figure out screaming children. But anyways, after we get the painting done, then we're gonna get started on the floors, which I'm actually a little worried that the floors are gonna be more work than the cabinets. I'm just putting these on here. You can see that I need to buff this in a few places. So I've decided to stop picking at them. I'm a picker. Do you guys ever pick at stuff? It's better to wait till it's cured and just buff it off. Um, I'm painting, so what we're doing on the walls is we took, this is DIY White Swan. I took this paint and had it color matched at Home Depot and I'm going to paint the walls the exact same color so it's going to be very white and bright and then I will layer back in colors and textures but I think it'll be great for filming and for videoing because we don't have a lot of windows. We have this little tiny window, one window over there and then we have the bay windows over here. We have no windows on the front of our house so it's really really dark so I'm hoping that this brightens it all up and makes it easier for filming. Um, yes Caitlin we are doing the floor. You heard me right. We are we have wood floors and we're gonna sand them down 
um, in the dining kitchen okay, and should in we the bring entry. People closer? <laughs> huh? Oh, I feel like everybody's Zeb's like gonna, really Zeb's far gonna away. Zeb's gonna put it closer so you guys can see it. Hey, Shelly. All right, so Zeb's gonna continue. He got the kids quiet, so good. He's gonna keep most them mostly quiet. So it's worked really well. Um, when we were painting the cabinets. We, you know how we put the numbers in here? Zeb actually just took a round knob and put it right there. So that way when he was spraying, we could still see the numbers in the in there. And then on the cabinet drawers, let me go get Oh one. yeah, you wanna start peeling. Oop, that's the wrong one though. Yeah, pay attention <laughs> to the map. So on the cabinet drawers, we just took, cause this goes on the drawer so you won't see it. We taped off where we wrote the number. So we know that this is number one. So it just matches up with drawer number one. You want so, to bring them over here so that they can Yeah, I'm gonna move the camera guys so you can see what's in the island. Probably just unplug it. It's like I'm playing hide and go seek. I'm not gonna plug it. <laughs> All right guys, we're coming in. I'm gonna direct you down here. There, now they can see you. Is that good? Yep. Jack missed the quiet memo. He doesn't have any shush in him. Yeah. You know, it's funny. This morning we started out and I had like Christmas music going and I was all upbeat. And then by 2 o'clock I was just about done. Thanks, Mariah. I, and I also I showered and I did my hair. Because I was looking pretty scruffy after a few days of painting. I really need it. Plus, tomorrow's Sunday, so we have church. So now I'm already showered. I'll have to shower for church in the morning. All right. So I'm still doing this. Is, this is the really exciting part here, guys. Well, we, we and got you live for the, the Let's the put really this one on, stuff. and then let's pause and put the hardware on that one and install a drawer. Oh, you want to show them putting the hardware on? Yeah. I don't know if I've got that quite figured out. I'm going to have to do math on camera. I can't be doing math don't on camera. Don't mess it up. You're live. Especially live. I can't be doing math on camera. Jamie already told me if I have to putty a, a hole that I miss drill, that I will be in a lot of trouble. He does that. How did we paint the drawers, doors? Um, we sprayed the doors, uh, but when we had some touch-up to do, I just did that with a foam brush. And the foam brush doesn't leave any brush strokes. And if you get any like raised area, you can just buff it smooth. So if you don't have a paint sprayer, you could totally do this with two foam brushes. Spraying was faster. All right. Yeah, this is the fun stuff. Justin says we're going to the fun stuff. Okay, right. somebody says, what's been the biggest pain? Two things. Um, it's cold outside, so we had to work in the garage, and our garage is a mess. Two, it's the, the kids are home and they're bored. That's two things. And the fifteen-year-old out of the fridge. Yeah, while we we've been trying to just like feed the kids and be done, but they like to graze all day, so that's been a pain. Um, and also uh, bleed through. So we sanded these pretty good, and some of the tannins and from the wood came through. It's my fault. <laughs> we sand because if you sand too far and you get through the finish all the way, then you get to the natural wood, and sometimes those wood tannins will bleed through, and that was a pain. And I'm still probably gonna have to come through and like touch these up later when the kids go back to school. They look pretty good. I'm, yeah, I'm, you can I'm, bring them back up and, sh and put tabs on. Yeah, I'm like really picky. So, I already put tabs on those. You want me to put tabs on these? Put tabs on all of them. Oh. <laughs> all right, I'm going to bring you guys over here. Bleed through even with a shellac. No, after we shellacked it. <gasps> he just I'm dropped one. Stuff. After we shellacked it, it was fine. It was just that we some of the bleed through we didn't see until after we sealed it. And then we had to shellac it, paint it again, seal it again. And we didn't have it so much on the cabinets, but on the like boxes. The boxes were really easy because you don't have to do two sides. And I did all the boxes with that roller and a foam brush. A lot of people have been asking. The insides were already like that white liner that they come with from the factory. Yeah, we didn't we didn't paint them. They were already white. I would not, unless you have to, I would never paint the insides because what a pain in the butt. 
I guess if you were in a really old nasty house and you were just spraying the whole thing, then yeah, I guess you would spray the inside. Well, there's, that's gonna need some buffing. Has a Lauren, yeah, my landlord came by because she bought some candlesticks from us. I'm gonna get a buffer because I wanna buff something real quick. Sorry guys, where's my sanding block? Struggle is real, but I've talked to him. All right, guys. Sorry, I'm hiding over here while Jamie looks for a sanding block. So when I was hanging these, here, we're going to go flying. Oh, that's the one I want to sand. Well, you're going to have to wait a sec because I'm showing them now. So when I was hanging these, all of the screws, when they had them set up in here, were at the top of this little groove in there. And that way, I know that I just put it all the way down to the bottom on all of these. That way, they're all even and I don't have to mess with it. Because if you're fidgeting around with every single one, it's not going to be good. And this door, this is probably the worst door. This one's the greasiest up above the stove. We're going to still have to let it cure. And then we're going to come back in on this inside here. And, uh, and do one more coat on that one. But the outsides look great. What are you buffing there, Jamie? See, there's like these drops. I don't know what that is. Oh. Probably from the sprayer. You can't see it from five feet back. <laughs> I know, but it's bothering me, so I'm going to fix it now before I forget. All right. It'll take me two seconds. Okay, well, maybe longer than two seconds. I'm going to stand them, and then I'll just use the foam brush. Are you monitoring questions? Um, I don't know. People probably have been asking questions left and right. You'll have to answer them. Oh, yeah. Talisha asks if we're going to be posting this after. So all of, the, all of the steps that we've been doing live are up now, they're live on the channel. But we also have, I've been filming the steps on our other camera off, off air. And we'll have a full video with everything all together, all the steps all together in one video yeah, when it's all done. All, over the place. all right, fix that. Now I gotta get my foam brush with the paint on it. Should I, before we hang them all up, should I go ahead and yeah, Zeb, I'm, so what I'm doing is I found some imperfections and Zeb told me to wait, but I couldn't. So I'm just taking my foam brush because it won't leave brush strokes and I'm going to retouch up this area that I just buffed. And then when it dries, I'll just use the foam brush and seal it. I would say what we have probably all total like four coats of poly. Everybody said you only need two, but we are really tough on stuff. So I just wanted it to be super durable. Sorry guys, I'll monitor comments in a minute. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna fix this All right, right Jimmy, do you have the knobs? Got what knobs? Oh, no, it's the black. They're over there. Okay. Oh, yep. Lily said she just gave hers another coat of poly, too. It never hurts, and I want to make sure that I do... Um, I want to make sure that I'm doing all of these touch-ups while they're still clean. Because then it'll be more work to have to clean when we retouch them up. Um, do my kids ever show interest in painting? If you watch my videos, you will see that Jack, my baby, who's three, he takes a lot of interest. <laughs> he always wants to paint with me. And he does quite often paint. Not these kinds of projects. These are not the kind of projects you invite your kids to help with. My 15 year old probably could, but he's not gonna. He enjoys like wood shop at school. He doesn't like learning stuff from me. He's that age where our dad yeah. can't show him we anything. We don't know nothing, right? So. All right, so where do you want this on here, Jamie? <laughs> Up high like that? We want I don't, I think, that, oh, you just, Oop, I scratched that feel in? It's super fresh. We just got done. The poly is not <laughs> cured. So I, you I don't want know. it like three inches or four inches down? I would think somewhere close, like yeah, right in here. Yeah, so the kids can reach it. Okay, I don't want it way up high. Be careful. I will. You're the rest of these will wait. If you're watching. Okay, so I'm going to go three inches up. All right. I can't believe one. you're making me do this live. <laughs> Look what I did, guys. We have dirty dishes in the sink. I covered them up so that way you don't She's have to see them. covered them with a towel. I just covered them with a pretty towel. Dishes gone. We've been actually been, we thought we were going to buy paper plates, but we've been staying on top of the dishes. We didn't buy any paper plates. 
We've been, and then my daughter did the dishes the other day, and because all the dishes are in a box, she had to like unload the dishwasher to the box. <laughs> she did a good job. All right, so measuring three inches up, you just want it centered? Yeah. Lily says that she's painting her, how's the Here. paint smell? The paint, the DIY paint doesn't smell at all, and hold just a second. Polyacrylic is water-based, so that doesn't really smell. The only thing that's stinky is the shellac, which I suggest doing outside in a well-ventilated area. All right, bring what? them in on off the tripod. Why? You got to hold them steady. Oh, so just we're move doing the tri this. Or, there we go. Well, what do you want right, to do? So I'm just going to, I don't have, I forgot my pencil outside, so it's fresh enough. I can just mark it right here like this. So I'm three inches up from the bottom, and then I've just got this centered here. And where's the right drill? Here it is. All right, wish me luck. May the force be with you. I don't want to be in trouble. This is real oak. I'm trying not to go too hard because I don't want to blow the back out. Oh, All you know right. what? Can you move it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't move it anymore. Oh, it did? Yeah, it blew back out a little bit. That's all right. It's the inside. <laughs> it's the inside. It's okay. Ta-da! That is real oak, yep. Did we put the little, yeah, we did. So ta-da, that's what they're all gonna all look right. like. I think, and it, they're just like simple, nothing fancy. But I wanted to, we've got black appliances and black in our countertops. And so I just felt like the black and the white really went well together. And I'm actually gonna pull in the black a little bit more in my decor. I haven't decided exactly how, but I've been seeing a lot of black added to farmhouse. So we're gonna have a lot of white, then I'm gonna add in some black, some natural woods, and, and some once few we pops get of up color. Here, painted it'll be really bright and we might change the track lighting out but we haven't figured out how to do that do you guys have any good idea for removing track lighting here i'm well, gonna blind you look watch that's not the problem but we need i don't like that of, lighting we need a lot of light in here for filming and things and doing our diys and the track lighting actually provides quite a bit of light yeah so we need <laughs> lots of light i just don't think it's very aesthetically pleasing but we have vaulted ceilings so it's kind of tricky um the final reveal hopefully it doesn't take forever um and then lily said she's gonna paint her walls in january so nice that'd be fun. awesome yeah so it's gonna make zeb crazy that it's like messy on the wall yeah, yeah. i don't i don't like that we, but i, I didn't mean, bother to tape it off because i'm gonna repaint i'm okay not week. taping it off but now i just want to finish it but you know got, christmas, got some christmas shopping to go do this evening santa's with the kids. coming we have them all pick out their, we, we put all their names in a hat and they, they draw a name and that's who they have to buy. We it could from. have finished it last night, but Zeb has been eating a lot of junk food and he had a tummy ache. Yeah. It he thought good. pumpkin pie was a vegetable and he ate it for dinner. <laughs> Are we ready for Christmas? Um, like I bought all the presents, but uh, the kids have to shop for each other. We'll do that tonight and then we'll wrap. We're, we usually stay up pretty late, but I'm not... I've done fancy wrapping, but since it's so late this year, I'm not doing any fancy wrapping. I was thinking about uh, just getting some bags. <laughs> just gonna get a bunch of, we're just gonna use a bunch of paper bags from the grocery store and stuff them all in there. And then that if they're be, too big, we're gonna put them in grocery bags, like plastic grocery bags and just bag it up. That would the be tray. so funny. We should do that. <laughs> they, I don't think the kids care. I don't think they would care. And we have a ton we, of, we shop at a grocery store where we get all paper We probably bags. won't, we'll probably wrap them right. Um, whatever, you speak for yourself. <laughs> Thanks, All right, Patty. guys. I think... Zeb's hair looks good, too. Yeah, my hair's looking awesome. <laughs> I just did my hair because it was pretty, It's really coming it's in strong bad. on the sides here. I'm thinking of growing it out and curling it. <laughs> yeah, I need a haircut. My sister-in-law was supposed to come for New Year's, but they're not coming now, so it's getting long. I don't color my hair. This is my natural hair color. Someday I'm going to get gray hair and have to color it. But, yes, because you must color it if it goes gray. Well, you know. Zeb always <laughs> makes fun of me because when I sand like white, I always get like white dust so it looks like I have gray hair, but I don't. Um, DIY some... Oh, you'll cut my hair in March. Mariah, that's a long time. That's a long time, Mariah. What's happening in March? Is somebody getting married? Um, 
All right. Found Somebody said camera. something. Oh, they, we had an idea for light. I missed that. Oh, okay. Then I have to come see her. Here, just hold it so you don't DIY lose. some hanging lights. All right, Mariah. I guess I can come see you. No, that's spring break in March. In April, we're going to San Diego. I don't know. I mean, I could cut my own hair. Dion from the Turquoise Iris cuts her own hair. I think if I cut my own hair, Mariah would probably disown me because she cuts my hair. I have a lot. I don't know if you can tell. I have a lot of hair. It's really, really thick. And it's you hard to cut. just recently thinned it out. Chandeliers. Chandeliers from like, a vaulted ceiling would be Like big hanging rough. ones? I would love to like hang maybe like a ladder. Have you guys seen Liz Marie has like a ladder with chandeliers? But I don't know if our landlord would agree to that. I don't know if she cares. There's a ton of videos on cutting your own hair. You know, there's a lot of DIYs in this world that people do, but I just don't know if that's one thing I'm going to do. I won't even cut my own. I love bangs, but I won't even cut my own bangs. All right. Um, Zeb, do you want to show them the cut pulls going on the drawers? Um, I don't have any of the drawer faces on yet. We... Well, you have to put the cut pull on first and then screw the drawers on. Yeah. Right? Uh, more math. Yeah, Zeb, <laughs> I'm going to make him do the drawers. And then, and then we'll let you guys back. Are you guys all ready for Christmas? Oh, there's Jack. Say hi. Hi. What are you doing, Jack? I'm playing on the Kindle. You're playing on the Kindle? Yeah, on the Come here. Come say hi. They want you to see you. Oh, tell them what you want for Christmas. I want a squirt gun. A squirt gun? What else? Here's, here's you want what? A green gun. A green gun. Do you want anything besides guns? Do you want Legos? A purple gun. A purple gun. What about it's getting real specific now? What about anything else? That's it. Just squirt guns and a purple gun and a green gun. Um. Yeah. Have you been a good boy? You've been a good boy. You haven't been naughty. Did you go see Santa the other day? You sat on his lap? All right, say bye, Jack. Bye. All right, he's gonna run off. All right. Oh, I like Zoe's idea with the LED lights. We could run LED strips under the cabinets. I don't want that much light under my cabinets. They'll show all the dirt. All right, Zeb is... I'm gonna measure on the back so I don't mess up the front. How's yeah, that? somebody said they were gonna ask where the kids were. I, I bought a Nintendo Switch for them and they're downstairs playing it. I figured it was an early Christmas. I figured if they're stuck at home because I'm remodeling, then the least I can do is buy them something fun to do. All right. Oh, you want me to? Here, Jack, I'll do that. Okay, Jamie's not running the camera very well, guys. Sorry. Sorry, I'm not a camera person. Can you see okay? Can you see that? So I'm doing this on the back side. This is where it screws in. It's already got the holes, which... Jack, shh. Jack. <laughs> So this is 15 inches, so seven and a half to center, which we're pretty much already there. Do you want these center, Jimmy? Like right dead center? Uh, yeah, why? Well, okay. That's probably. So five and a quarter, so that's two and an eighth. Okay. Oh, my, my dot's already there. All right, so that's center. Now I gotta figure out where the center of my pool is and I'm gonna cheat and actually just eyeball this. <gasps> dun dun dun, he's eyeballing stuff. Actually, that's not right. See, see why I shouldn't do math. You're so good at everything, Seb. Okay, there's my center mark. <laughs> that is practically perfect in every way. Don't listen to her, she's a liar. It's true. And he, oh, don't go too, oh, I guess it doesn't matter. It's all going to be hidden under the face of the drawer here. So, I'm just, all right, got my center. Can you guys see okay? This is one of the, you know, in every marriage, there's like things that I do and things that you do. This is definitely something that you do. Do you want me to get you a board so you don't drill into the? No, I'll be okay. Okay. It'll be all right. They won't be able to see how uneven it is from their house. We have LED lights. Well, are these LEDs or are these fluorescents? Those are the ones in there are LEDs. Yeah, we They're have LEDs. Like... It's pretty bright. But I, so I got daylight bulbs, but I'm thinking of switching to, I can't remember. My friend Sasha from Sweet Pickens has one and it's more of a white light and less blue. And I'm thinking of switching to those. 
All right, go run outside and grab me a board. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, that'll work. So we don't drill into the countertop. And I'm gonna press down real hard so it doesn't blow out the front too. making lots of mess here. So because I pressed hard, you see how it didn't break all that wood out? It, it just went right into it like it was a solid piece almost. You can clamp them together if you want better results, um, if you're really worried about it. Let's see how even this is. I'm most excited about these poles. I think they're really cute. Uh-oh. Do you need my help? Uh, they're just slightly... Um, where's the other drill? Yeah, we have daylight bulbs, um, but there's a different light. It's like a, I don't know, a bright white or something. And <laughs> what? Of course, that's uneven. <gasps> Zebulon, what are we going to do? I'll fix it. How are you going to fix it? I'm going to waller it out a little. Oh, okay. And hide it under the thing. <laughs> uh all my secrets on how to not do it right. Yeah, it happens. Merry Christmas, Wild Gem Wizard 101. It would have been easier if these, they have like fake screws on the front, if they just screw from the front like they look they do. Yeah. They do. Finding black hardware is not as easy as you might All think. All right. Close enough for me. Everywhere had oil rub bronze. So now what we have to do is screw this to the... So now it's got to get screwed to the front. I think this is number one. And then we'll let you guys get back to your holiday weekend. Oh, you know what? What? That's going to need to be indented. Oh, you're going to have to countersink those, huh? Yep. Hang on. Oops, well, this is drill. good for them to see this because... Yeah, because this is supposed to, it was intended to mount flush. So, so see how this, these, these screw on to the drawers. He's got to countersink these so that way they're flush and then it goes on correctly. So if you've got cabinets like these, which are, these are like the standard cheap builder grade cabinets. Um, that's good. You're probably going to come across the same thing. So he's going to take his countersink, countersink it down a little bit and then it'll be flush and then we can screw it onto the front there. Do you guys want to see like wow, my... you are just... <laughs> Look, this is my dirty knife slash junk drawer. <laughs> oh, and my pantry. <laughs> so normally all of this uh, this fun figure and stuff out gets edited out. So you guys are having getting a real treat here. So I'm just gonna run my countersink bit in enough so that the screw can sink down in there. I don't want to go too far because then it'll bottom out onto my pool, and I'll have to add washers or something, and that'll be. It'll be a thing. Oh. Luckily, Zeb's handy. Some days are better than others. Yeah. True story. I bet you could get this hardware cheaper on Amazon. Probably. I, it wasn't I bought bad. it at Lowe's. I don't know. It was kind of spendy because we had to buy a lot. So we're looking for... A new faucet and everywhere has oil rub bronze they have a black faucet because I want black like a matte black like the hardware at Ikea but it doesn't have the plate so we're we've been going back and forth on Amazon because right now we have the cheapest faucet they had at Home Depot because when the other one broke we were broke so we went with whatever <laughs> I think it was like $20 Amazon has some good prices, but I'm worried they went on hold up. Okay, now I need, I don't know what screws, where did we put the screws for the, uh, the drawers? Mm, they're in a separate baggie. Hold on. Here, talk to the people. I'm, I'm, I'm out, out of words today. I'm running out of These words, the guys. Drawers. I put the drawer <laughs> ones in a separate bag. Oh, good job. They're a little longer. I try to be organized. I'm just glad you didn't lose them. Are you saying that I lose screws? Uh, we picked the junk drawer to do this? <laughs> yeah, that's our knife slash junk drawer, but I'm going to clear it out. I actually bought new knives. 
They're coming from Amazon. All right. Can you guys here bring them over for a side view there? So because we marked this and numbered them, I'm just going right back into the same hole. And before I tighten one oh, side on. up. Hold on, Zeb. Oh. I don't know. How about, is that good, Zeb? I can't see from this angle. Before I tighten one side up, I'm going to make sure that both screws are lined up into the original holes that they were in. That way my drawer goes on nice and even and I don't have to mess with centering it. You could have taken the knife out of that one. Ta-da! Hey, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. I can't even tell you. That makes me happy. All right, Jamie can never run the camera. <laughs> I'm doing a good job. Shush up. Shaking them around like All crazy. Right. So we're gonna finish what we're doing. And we're going to let you guys go. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. We will check in with you guys on Tuesday. So we won't have any more videos till Tuesday, but we will check in on Tuesday when we get started painting. And then we'll show you um, what it looks like with us finishing trimming out the cabinet on the front because it's going to be pretty cute. Make sure you do better than me when you're lining your pulls up. Yeah, Zeb's a lot calmer. I am way more excited. I have been dreaming about this kitchen for six years. When my landlord finally said, okay, I'll let you do all the things you want to do to the house, I may have cried. I'm we so excited. We were totally getting so. ready to just hang out. We had all of our other projects done, and then the landlord said, all right, go ahead, do it. And here we are, two days before Christmas, the kitchen's still not put together. I had to do it before <laughs> she changed her mind. All right, love you guys. Have a Merry Christmas.